Gestational diabetes is defined as any degree of glucose intolerance with onset or first recognition during pregnancy. In simple words, it is a condition characterized by high blood glucose levels during pregnancy, either started or first recognized in the pregnancy itself. Gestational diabetes occurs in 2 to 9% of all pregnancies. This condition typically resolves after the delivery. However, some women may develop outright diabetes within the next 10 years. In a normal pregnancy, there is a slight elevation of several hormones in maternal blood, including estrogen, progesterone, leptin, cortisol, placental lactogen, and placental growth hormone. These hormones, especially placental lactogen, reduce the insulin sensitivity of maternal cells. The main function of insulin is to reduce blood glucose levels by enhancing its uptake from peripheral tissues. When the insulin sensitivity of cells is reduced, blood glucose level rises. This glucose is then transported across the placenta to fuel the growth of the fetus. In addition, during a normal pregnancy, there is a slight elevation of insulin secretion by the pancreas to compensate for the increased insulin resistance, and this will increase the pumping of glucose into maternal cells. However, in some women, this mechanism is impaired. With continuous secretion of insulin, pancreatic beta cells get exhausted, and the mother will fail to overcome the insulin resistance. As a result, she will develop gestational diabetes. Several risk factors are associated with the development of gestational diabetes, including obesity, decreased physical activity, a first-degree relative with diabetes, previous history of gestational diabetes, high blood pressure, low HDL cholesterol levels in blood, high triglyceride levels in blood, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and history of cardiovascular disease. If not recognized and managed early, gestational diabetes can lead to serious complications. Maternal complications include labor dystocia or abnormally slow delivery, elective or emergency caesarean section, vaginal laceration, preeclampsia and eclampsia, two serious conditions characterized by increased maternal blood pressure, increased weight gain during pregnancy, cardiovascular disease, postpartum weight retention, and increased risk of diabetes in later life. Fetal complications include high birth weight, low blood glucose levels after cutting the umbilical cord, shoulder dystocia, or nerve injury during delivery, metabolic syndrome in adulthood, polycythemia, or increased red blood cells in blood, which increases the risk of thrombosis or formation of blood clots, and neonatal jaundice. Due to these complications, mothers are regularly monitored and screening for gestational diabetes. Therefore, women who are compliant with medical therapy will not experience such complications. First-line treatment of gestational diabetes is lifestyle changes. These include dietary modifications, exercise, and blood glucose monitoring. Medical therapy of gestational diabetes includes oral hypoglycemic agents such as metformin and injectable agents such as insulin.